Okay, whatever you do, don't go and watch my Colin Trevorrow episode 9 script sucks video. Don't get too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. So, I talk some mad shit about Colin's script, his potential script, before Disney let him go, Lucasfilm let him go. His script was called Duel of the Fates. And I didn't like a majority of his script, but then concept art for his version of episode 9 was leaked, and some of it is super awesome. So, that being said, don't go watch the video where I talk about how his script sucked, and instead watch this video where I talk about his concept art and what I liked the most from it. And yes, this is confirmed by Colin himself that this is his concept art for his version of episode 9. Okay, let's start with the first one with Rey with a double-bladed lightsaber, and she's on a Star Destroyer after just fucking up a bunch of stormtroopers. And what I love about this is she has Luke's The Return of the Jedi outfit on and just looks so amazing. Although I guess she has a ponytail instead of her buns. That right there, I mean, I would love for her to have had a double-bladed lightsaber in the beginning of episode 9 instead of creating it at the very end, but I don't know. I Maybe it just copied too much off of Return of the Jedi with Luke's outfit and they decided to go differently there. I know, of course, they did her outfit based off of they wanted to seamlessly put together some footage with Carrie Fisher that they hadn't used, but I don't know. I feel like Rey's outfit throughout the sequel trilogy was kind of boring. Okay, next, a Resistance traitor is executed with a light blade guillotine on Coruscant. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a sick human being. I love the idea of a lightsaber-like guillotine used to kill people. I mean, we know that the First Order was all about making a spectacle out of executing traitors. I mean, we saw that with the, what is it, the First Order trooper executioner troopers. I did a whole video on them. So they like to make a big show out of it. So the idea of having a lightsaber executioner fucking guillotine? Kinda cool. I'm totally down for it. Tor Valum. So apparently this guy was going to be a villain in Colin's version of episode 9, which is different from the Oracle. I know some news sites got a little confused about that. The Oracle and Tor Valum are two completely different creatures, but Colin's kind of bad guy for episode 9? I don't know, kind of terrifying. I would have liked to have seen it on the big screen. Next, Kylo would have fought Vader in a caved sequence. So I'm not sure if you know about this, but there is a canon comic where Snoke took Kylo Ren to Dagobah. He went through the Cave of Evil, the Evil Cave, the Force Cave, whatever you want to call it. The cave Luke th went through on Dagobah with Yoda and then faced off against Vader, and then Vader had Luke's face and terrified him. Well, Kylo actually went through that himself. And in case you don't know, Kylo ended up destroying that cave, which was a, a bit disappointing. I think I made a video talking about how disappointed I was that he destroyed that, but I, I guess it doesn't matter for this video. But I do like the idea of Kylo facing off against a vision of Vader. So yeah, this, this sequence is pretty cool. Now, I would be interested to know if they did the cave sequence with Kylo in the comics based off of this, and then they decided they can't use it for the movies because they used it for the comics, and then Kylo ends up destroying the cave. Okay, next one. R2 and C-3PO on the streets of Coruscant. So there's been a lot of conflicting reports on what Coruscant was going to be like in Colin's episode 9 script, with most saying it was going to basically be a scavenger, scum-like, broken-down location, and not what it used to be, the location of the, the Jedi Temple and then Palpatine <laughs> building up his office on the rubble of that. And I don't really like that idea. I would love to explore Coruscant more, especially the lower levels, which we have explored a bit in the books and in the comics, but I feel like the breakdown of Coruscant 
just didn't make sense. So while I like the images, the concept art for it, I don't like the idea of it, which is why I included it in this video. Next, Finn Rally citizens of Coruscant to fight back. I don't know about you, but I felt pretty robbed that we didn't get Finn trying to help the First Order troopers rebel, a First Order trooper rebellion. It just made a lot of sense for his character arc, but this image has me so excited for just Finn in general inciting a rebellion against the First Order. He should have had more to do in this sequel trilogy in general. Which is interesting because there's another bit of concept art which actually shows defected stormtroopers and Coruscant citizens all being around First Order walkers that have been painted to show that, hey, fuck you, we're rebellion. Okay, here's a controversial image. So apparently people thought this was R2 being destroyed and C-3PO was having an emotional moment with him. But before you freak out about R2 being killed in Colin's version of the script, he actually addressed this concept art and said, no, while R2 was going to have a little bit of battle damage in my version of episode nine, he was not going to be killed. It was just a, a bit of battle damage. It happened. It's all okay. Nobody has to come after Colin for this. R2 was going to live. I feel like I talked about that in my Colin script sucked video that I definitely didn't create, where in the end, R2 was going to be repaired and it we were going to see all three trilogies through his eyes, which I still think would be really cool. And I still would love for all of Star Wars to be being told through R2-D2. Okay, next, Luke blocks Kylo's lightsaber. I mean, what can you say about this? I don't know if maybe this was created before Colin knew that Luke was going to be killed by Ryan Johnson because he's an evil monster or not, but I have to imagine here he is a force ghost if he's grabbing his lightsaber and being like, na 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 na. And of course, I talked about in my not a video about Colin script sucking how Luke was going to haunt Kylo as a force ghost. Ooh, here's something I talked about which I thought was actually quite hilarious. So in Colin's script, Hux was going to be obsessed with the force and trying to use it and really PO'd that he couldn't, which to me makes sense with how against Kylo he was and how he wanted to murder both Kylo and, and Snoke. That's canon, I swear I'm not making that up. So to me it makes sense that he was a bit jealous and wanted to use the Force himself. Well in Colin's script he actually had a collection of lightsabers and he commits seppuku via one of his lightsabers after he figures out the First Order has lost. I don't know, to me that's a really, really cool image and I like it a lot. Okay, last and certainly not least is Leia recording a message via BB-8, just like we saw her in A New Hope recording a message with R2-D2 to get help for her personal mission. So we were gonna see Leia in her A New Hope outfit, but now obviously an elderly woman recording a message via BB-8 to try to get people to help and stand up against the First Order. To me, I know a lot of people complain about copying the OT, but I feel like this would have been a very emotional way to close out the Skywalker saga. Oh, here is a, a bonus image. I wanna do one more, I'm really sorry. So this is Rey with her double-bladed lightsaber fighting off against Kylo, and if you followed my other video that I definitely didn't create, I talked about how he had parts of his mask kind of glued to his face due to a explosion. And this is illustrating that. And I don't know, I like it. It kind of looks here instead of Rey having a ponytail that she has a braid. And I like that a little bit more than her buns. Ooh, here's a bonus bonus image. Rey facing off against a monster, which looks really intense and absolutely like nightmare fuel. All right, so that is my video on concept art from Colin Trevorrow's script that I actually really liked because I absolutely loved his script from day one. You can't prove otherwise unless you watch that other video. Please don't. So anyways, let me know what you think about this concept art in the comment section down below. And do you wish we would have gotten some of this concept art or all of it in JJ's version of episode nine? 
let me know. I'm intrigued. I really am. I know I, that sounds a little dismissive, but I am actually very interested in your thoughts on this concept art and episode nine. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.